Julian, I know the city of Edmonton loved supporting you on Saturday night and you had a full house and people were happy and when you won the place was rocking but I want to know what post fight is like for you. Um, I know as an athlete myself, not in a fight, but after events it's a lot about relief and, and I'm exhausted. How do you feel after a fight? Did you get a chance to celebrate and be excited or, or did you go straight to bed? <laughs> no, we always, um, I, I still have a ton of adrenaline so like even though you're physically exhausted, like you're just still kind of wired. Um, adrenaline hits me like a ton of bricks. Um, but everybody always wants to come and you put your life on hold. I don't know if it is the same for you, is like you put your hold on your life on hold, all the social activities and everything, and you're just dedicated to training. So after that's finally over and you're thankfully celebrating, everybody wants to be a part of that with you. Um, I think what people forget, like, so you go to after parties and people forget that you were just in a war. For me, it was for half hour and, and you know, like, like I said, I explained how I f feel like I've been hit by a, a truck. And everybody wants to grab you and touch you and, like, shake your hand as hard as they can because they think you're so tough. And, like, literally we're shaking hands and I'm, like, grimacing, like, every time someone's, like, grabbing my hand. And, but, you know, you, you also just have to realize that people are just super excited um, you know they want to share that with you so and I love it like I love fighting at home people here just I'm, I'm such a lucky person to have the support that I have and the amazing people come out and you know not only spend their time with me but their money to come and watch me so I, I appreciate that you know more than I can ever articulate I think so um, to be able to spend some time with them and celebrate is always amazing. I was explaining a little bit earlier and to the people around me, I'm like, I've never been married, but I feel like post-fight celebrations are like a wedding reception would be like, you kind of have to say hi to everybody, you have to thank everybody. I'm like, I, I don't feel like I ever have to get married now. <laughs> yeah, because you've had that 51 times. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, post-fight depression. I've heard other boxers talk about this before. Can you explain what it is and are you affected by it as well? 100%. So um, post-fight depression is you're always building up to one event, one day. So for us, it's not like every other athlete like where you get to, if you have a crappy game, you can go and have another game next week. It's usually three or four times a year and sometimes like for me, it's 14 months since my last fight. So you build up for one event and everything that you're doing, everything you're thinking about, everything goes into that one day. And then when it's over, it's kind of like nothing. You have no goals, you have no, nothing to look forward, nothing to look forward to or to any reason to kind of get up. Like, so I like to call it post-fight depression and it's just kind of like the lack of drive. You know, eventually you replace that with another goal and another thing and then real life kicks in where you have to like, you know, have responsibilities and jobs and families and people. So you usually give yourself a couple days and then you kind of get back into like the normal routine. But it's a real thing, like it's a struggle sometimes. So, you know, I scheduled this because I was like, oh, this will be great. I won't have post-site depression. It's my birthday and like, it will be great. I'm forgetting about how sore I feel and <laughs> the rest of the stuff. You're a trooper. You are a trooper. So it's your 51st fight and you're 37 years young today. <laughs> uh, so what's next for you? Do you want to keep fighting? Um, yeah, talk a little bit about what's next for Jelena Rajanovic. 100%, like I mean, I think age is just a number and how you feel and as long as you're healthy and I'm fortunate I have the right people around me to be able to tell me whether I'm feeling old or not that whether I'm feeling old or whether I'm acting, you know, if I'm not responsive and for me, I still love going to the gym. I still love getting into the into the ring. I still love getting into the weight room and, and things like that. I still enjoy going for runs. So for me, it's hard to, and I mean, I had a great fight, it was so fun. So it's hard to look and figure out when the end is. You know, I am 37. I definitely don't want to be doing this in my 40s. Like, you know, as much, of, as, much as I love doing it, I need the rest of my life to kind of start. Um, as an athlete, you always have to make sacrifices. And sometimes you have to outweigh those sacrifices and see if they're worth it in the long run. You know, being a Canadian athlete is super tough. Um, I've started a business, the business is amazing, so 
at a point I kind of want to grow it and, and to be able to make the right sacrifices at the right time, I don't know if boxing will do that for me. Um, but this moment right now, I'm still loving what I do. We're looking maybe to have a fight in October, provided this bad boy feels pretty good. I'm known for my left hand, so we gotta make sure we take care of it. <laughs> it's a little swollen. Um, a little swollen today, so um, everything's kind of hingent on, on that, and we'll see. Opportunities, you know, there could be a big fight with Golden Boy maybe in October, but fight games moment to moment, so you gotta see you know, what comes up. Well, we can't tell you how much we appreciate you coming out here today. This is a small happy birthday cupcake for you. Ah! <laughs> you know how long it's been since I had a cupcake? <laughs> I bet. <That's> <laughs> this is gonna be delicious.